Good afternoon or evening, my inquisitive friends. I welcome you to my neuro channel. In this video, we will talk about why we were born here, on this earth, in this state, in this city or village, in this family. The soul has, like any cell, a similar structure, a nucleus, a plasma, a protective shell. As I told you earlier in the previous video, how God created the soul. The soul is energy, and its structure is more like a honeycomb. And we fill these honeycombs ourselves, with our actions, which are the energy of the soul. But when does God create souls? And why? God has his own goals. It looks like self-education, and the growth of one's personality qualities, that is, with the accumulation of experience, personal experience reaches, opening up new opportunities. So we, at our level of development and self-consciousness, always feel a particle of God, the Supreme Being, Teacher, Mentor, Father, their individuality and spirituality. Thus, God takes himself to a new level of being. Therefore, we always have little achieved, hence our boundless curiosity and thirst for knowledge. It is precisely this conscious striving of the individual on the path of upward progress that is called spirituality. Thus, the matrix inspired by God, the soul, is his part, and by developing it, God develops himself. Everything is interconnected and interdependent. So, the soul has a protective shell. The newly created soul has only one, and the honeycomb is empty. But over time, they fill up, and the protection is strengthened. New and new protective shells are formed around the soul, which are like a spacesuit for going into outer space. This allows you to adapt to the material world of the planet in order to fulfill your life program on Earth. That is, to be born, live, and dand. This energy, and it has charges, pros and cons, like any opposite. When they develop, the energy grows. Opposites cannot completely absorb and disappear. That is, the soul is gaining both positive and negative qualities. In other words, if we didn't know what is bad, then we wouldn't understand what is good. Everything is comparable, so we have to get our own unique experience from birth and recharge our soul. This structure of the soul is not accidental, and it is a very complex process. There are rules and laws everywhere. Let it be the law of spiritualization, the law of the beginning of all beginnings, the law of freedom of choice, the law of universal love, of which the human form of life is a part. All the laws in detail, if it is interesting, right, I will create a separate video. When souls are just created, they are similar to each other, like twins, but you understand that there is nothing the same in the universe. What makes us different? This is individuality, so we all choose our own, and fill the cells of the soul with our experience. Yes, there are similar characters, hobbies, professions, and even looks, but we are always individual. With the accumulation of various experiences and qualities, our soul is like an eternal engine. That's why we call the soul eternal. With this knowledge, the concept of life now takes on a new meaning. It turns out that souls can work both in the biological worlds and in the energy worlds. And this is work, that is, while on Earth, our souls do a certain job. In other words, to get a harvest, you have to work hard. Hence the rewards are energy. Our Earth is a living organism. Look wider. It is above human ideas and habitual concepts about living things. For example, in order for a person to live, we need food, water, air. After all, every cell in our body is alive. It needs nutrients, oxygen, water, and waste products each cell removes from the body. When there is not enough food, the signals enter the brain and we eat to eliminate hunger. About the same thing happens with the earth. She also needs food, energy. This energy is provided by the sun, the moon, and also by biological organisms of plants, fish, birds, animals, and people. The earth needs different types of energy. If there is a soul, then there is a kind of database about our souls. It is logical that the Earth sends a signal about its needs for this energy, and higher forces receive this signal. And then, 
A certain soul is selected in the database, which is more suitable for any territory. Have you ever noticed that people with different needs, or better to say, with different abilities, live evenly in different countries? Writers, artists, politicians, and so on. Have you ever noticed that if you get rid of one fool in your life, another will always come for your own training and experience? People are different, and the energy is also different. The Earth needs different energy. If we could see this energy, we would understand why everything is happening the way it is. For example, we don't see electricity, and we don't need to know how it works. The only important thing is that you turn it on, and the phone is charging, the light is on, the TV is showing, and so on. Each soul is selected, and it is prepared on the subtle plane to move to the physical world. We ask ourselves the question, why are we born in this place, this country, city, where you were born? There are no accidents in life. We don't know how everything is calculated, and we may never know. But we have seen the results of this work, and it is impressive. Not a single soul disappears and does not randomly descend to Earth. After all, we are all a single organism. We are all particles of God. Our birth is not only a place, but also a time. These are hours, minutes, seconds, years, centuries, centuries. To serve the higher purpose, we are born in a certain place, at a certain time, and in a certain family. You need to understand for yourself, we are the world, we are energy, we are God's plan, even when we rest, work, study, love, hate. Any of our emotions is energy, any of our words is energy. When we feel empty, tired, as if we were survived like a lemon, we still have energy flowing, only of a different plan. We, as power plants, never stop generating this energy. That's what a person lives for, first of all. But we not only produce, but also get the energy we need for ourselves. The Earth was also formed not by itself, but was designed by the Creator. Look at how complex and diverse our world is. Just stop for a second and look around. Observe people, animals, insects, nature, as if from the outside. How harmonious everything is. Sometimes terrible, but still impressive. And do you still think it formed by itself? This is a huge expenditure of energy, and moreover of different types. We are given the highest gift, reason, so that we can see and reflect, think and draw conclusions. In the next video, I would like to discuss different worlds high, low, multidimensional, parallel, and what is the difference, why are they created, how to get there or not to get there, what is their meaning, and where are they located? If you were interested, don't miss and subscribe to see the next video. If you are not interested, then just close the video and forget about this video. See you all. Good luck and good energy, my inquisitive friends.